And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Hey everyone, hope you found a place to stay cool because it was a hot one today. And take a look at this. We tied record highs in three cities, McAllen, Brownsville, and Westlaco. High temperature today in McAllen, 105 that ties the record back in 2009 and 1980. 99 in Brownsville tying the record back in 1920. And 101 here at Channel 5 tying the record back in 1947. It got to 99 in Harlingen, but no record broken there. In any case, it is hot right now. Triple digits out west, upper 90s to the east with mid 90s in Port Isabel. We have another round of that for tomorrow and for Tuesday. So if you're outside during the day, of course, please take it easy and drink plenty of water. Still hot, still breezy at 7 o'clock tonight with temperatures in the mid 90s. We're back to the upper 80s at 9 p.m. and lower 80s at 11 o'clock tonight. Air quality on the moderate side today. It has been a little hazy, but not as hazy as last weekend. The Saharan dust back in town. The air quality should be moderate, though, for tomorrow. If you're heading to the beach for tomorrow or Tuesday, we'll have high temperatures in the lower 90s under mostly sunny skies and still breezy with winds out of the south the southeast at 15 to 25 miles an hour. Again, the reason for this very hot weather, we have this big dome of high pressure aloft sitting over the southwest. So what's happening is the air under that high is a sinking. It's a stable air mass. As it air sinks, it compresses and warms, and that's why it's been so hot. Out east, different story, very nasty weather for our friends in the southeastern U.S. First things first, look at these temperatures. Triple digits across the board, except for Houston. 98 degrees right now, 108 in DFW, 103 in El Paso, and 103 in San Antonio. Let's take Take you out east, though. It's been dry here. We'd like to see some rain, but no rain. However, we are seeing some very nasty thunderstorms. Severe thunderstorm watch is in effect for the Florida Panhandle, southern Alabama, including Mobile. We also have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for Valdosta, Georgia. And look at these vicious thunderstorms moving right past the Tallahassee, Florida, heading toward Gainesville, north central Florida. A couple of severe thunderstorm warnings for the Florida Big Bend. None of that for us here in Texas in the Valley. Just stays hot and dry for today, for tonight, and for tomorrow, thanks to this big dome of high pressure, but hang on. That high is going to start to back off to the west over the next couple of days, so that may allow for an opening to give us a slight chance of showers. A little disturbance may start to track southward toward the area. So there are the words, a small rain chance, we think, by Wednesday and Thursday. Don't get too excited. It's still going to be hot, and it's only a small chance for a shower, but the high temperature should finally start to back off just a bit for the second half of the week. On the water, small craft should use caution. We'll have winds out of the south at 10 to 15 knots. The bay waters are choppy and the seas are 1 to 3 feet. Your forecast for tonight, mostly clear, warm and muggy with low temperatures in the upper 70s. And then for tomorrow, more heat, mostly sunny, breezy, high of 104. When you factor that humidity in the air, temperature is going to feel like 107 to 111. So I would not be surprised if a heat advisory is issued. Again, if you're outside during the day, please be careful. Drink plenty of water. Here's that seven-day forecast. Still 102 on Tuesday. 99 Wednesday, Thursday, 98 on Friday. We're going to put in a very slight chance of a spotty shower Wednesday and Thursday, upper 90s for Friday and Saturday with partly sunny skies. Mostly sunny, we think, for next weekend with high temperatures back in the upper 90s. That's your first one five forecast.